Hi, welcome to Text Nation TV. This week it's a little bit of Microsoft, a lot of Apple, and well, some summer shows coming up. Yeah, a little speckle E3, a little WWDC, and an insect. Welcome to Text Nation TV. This is episode number 42. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week, like I said, a little bit of Microsoft, and really all that it is is, well, Windows 8 preview summer whatever metro 8.2 exactly it has been released Plus. this is like the third version that has been released from microsoft uh it's the consumer preview that you can now download if you go to the microsoft developers website and sign up for that you can download that link um it's you know pretty much as you have seen already all the uh, you know sliding yeah you know, like the moving tiles exactly kind of all that stuff so uh, go download it if you are a PC avid person, so go check it out. Obviously put it on like your netbook or something, give it a shot, you know. Yeah, Don't shoot a video, put a video response down below, let yeah, us know. let us know how you like it. I would, I would like to try it out on my old HP, but the poor thing can't stay on more than about six and a half minutes. I don't know if there's a heat problem or what's going on, but we'll, I can figure <laughs> that out later. But yeah, go check it out, Microsoft Windows 8 Preview is downloadable, so. Moving on though, uh, yep. this past week, obviously, um, Apple, I think, as I have said on other shows, is maybe releasing some items, leaking some items. Mm -hmm. uh, last week we saw the schematics of the new iPhone, supposedly. Uh, we saw the front and back panel, again, supposedly. It's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, but but basically, all these things kind of intertwine together. There's not really one, like, rumors before kind of went against each other. Yeah. One would say, you know, oh, no, it's this, and oh, no, it's that, and, you know. The one's made of liquid metal. This is made of lava and made of charcoal. <laughs> so, You're yeah, excited. Yeah, there's there's a lot of different rumors, but this I think this time around, all the rumors are pointing towards a wider screen, mm -hmm. uh, a taller screen, exactly, and then they're also talking about keeping the same six, I think it's, well, I want to say it's 636 by 1586 on the tall side, so it's the same as far as the 940 by 636 mm -hmm. or whatever it is that, that it is for the, uh, for the resolution. So, I mean, there were a lot of things leaked last week, and today was kind of cool just to see the video that was released, and you can watch that here. Yeah. A, a touch taller yeah so we don't know if, if that's the real thing we don't know whose hand it is it's the purported you know thing <laughs> like that or 640 by 1136 I'm sorry about the uh, dimensions there but yeah you know we can't prove that that's right but we can't prove that it's wrong so yeah. it's kind of fun it's always fun when it comes to Apple rumors so that's kind of neat to see um, I, I do like the photo I sent out to everybody uh, with the metal band that's still the same mm -hmm. and the dock connector being a little bit smaller the speakers being on the bottom still. The only thing I didn't like was the headphone jack being moved from the top to the middle. Well, not that one, but the one that had it on the bottom. I cannot stand the headphone jack being on the bottom. That drives me nuts. That's a terrible design because it's in any dock. Yeah. I, I, I just I just don't like I it. Don't, I don't think that's... Yeah. Uh, you know, th that's the one that I saw. We, we obviously showed you before the liquid metal one that we both just love. It's a concept. Yeah. So uh, it's between now and he in October before we're going to see the iPhone. So there's plenty of time for production. So I'm sure there's two or three models of it out there. There's also plenty of time to get rid of the connector. If yeah. You've su if you've seen the uh, the job posting, they're hiring a connector specialist scientist yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the whole thing is it, it's, it's kind of, you know, nifty to see. Uh, that video you, you just watched has the front glass plate put right up against the new iPhone, and it's basically the same width, like I said, mm -hmm. just taller. So, you know, it's gonna have the true 16 by nine, which is better for watching movies, 
and I hope they keep that retina display. But I hope that maybe maybe it's just me because mm -hmm. you always have your brightness up and it always looks great. Yeah. I like to keep my brightness down and keep my battery, you know, even pretty much. I, I test it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, iPhone 5, this being their sixth generation, will it be? We don't know. Um, but with WWDC, which is what we were going to talk about, coming up just around the corner, mm -hmm. um, there's already been a WWDC app released with the schedule. And John Gruber actually has an article right here. Uh, if you go through and read it, it's, it's kind of funny. You know, some people are already speculating based upon the scheduling, uh, how things are going to happen, what's going to happen, this and that. And so it's like, people, people, you're reading way too much into this. Plus, the event is less than a week away, so. Yeah, I and mean, this never happens with Apple. I mean, just a, you, when the event's happening, <laughs> if you're not there, you usually have to watch two geeks who are, somehow they got a video in there. <laughs> But you had to listen to their commentary about it. Yeah. Over terrible microphones. <laughs> well, that's the reason why you don't watch the live video. You watch the live blogging. Yeah. And so watch the live blogs. I'm sure uh, BGR, Engadget, uh, Ars the Technica. Usual, yeah. yeah, your usual suspects will be there. So, that you know, just we know that it's coming. iOS 6 most likely will be announced uh, coming in June. Uh, they'll talk about it just like they've done before. They always announce the next OS and then let it stew for a little while before the new phone comes out. So I, I highly agree with everybody saying iOS 6 will be announced you know, at WWDC, giving time for developers to change their resolutions and things like that, uh, building apps and stuff like and that. And time to jailbreak it. Exactly. And if you read into some of the jailbreaker developer section, they've already, they think they've already got iOS 6 taken care of based upon some of the code that's there. So they think that it, it's, it's going to be a quick break the tethered jailbreaks are always very quick because you still it's you, you you have to tether to jailbreak yeah untethered means i can turn my device off and it keeps the jailbreak tethered means once i turn it off you're done and you gotta go back and do it again which is not really a good thing but whatever um speaking of iphone though another carrier has announced that they will be bringing the iphone to them and that is our insect that's right cricket <laughs> if you don't know what cricket is you're not alone. <laughs> but they're basically, uh, how would you describe Cricket? I would, I would describe them, if any of you know anything about Boost Mobile or Vo Virgin Mobile, those ones who have those unlimited uh, plans like what Sprint does, they're all kind of shoot-offs basically, uh, but unlimited because Cricket is one of those that's cheap, mm -hmm. it's quick and easy, and they've always had the cheap, quick and easy phones to go, prepaid wireless, stuff like that. That's what prepaid is, or that's what Cricket Wireless is bringing now is the iPhone, and so it's going to be the iPhone 4s mm -hmm. coming out June 22nd, and it's the 16 gig, so it's still $500. It's though. a 16 gig, got a, a lot of money. Yeah, especially for Cricket. You know, when you hear the term, oh, I got, you know, you know, you lost your job, I got to go get a Cricket phone. <laughs> you know, it, it's not like, hey, we're going to Cricket to get a phone. <laughs> Look at my cricket phone. It's well. See, this is the thing. This is the thing, though. I I, I really think that the iPhone four, for those of us to have it, uh, you and I, um, it's reaching its end of life. And I feel that it is so ubiquitous now for the iPhone four. I see so many people that should never have an iPhone have it. And I'm like, you don't know half of what to do with that phone, and you don't know how to, you know, make it do all this cool stuff. What are you doing? That's and why I love the Note. It's so big. <laughs> you gotta have good get the, man size get, hand. Get the Droid Razor Max on Verizon. I'm just saying. That's a big phone too. Big beautiful screen. But yes, June twenty second, Cricket will sell the sixteen gigabyte iPhone 4S contract free for five hundred dollars. In addition, uh, they will be selling a four hundred dollar, hundred dollars less for an eight gig, but both will be compatible with the carrier's unlimited, get this, fifty-five dollars unlimited uh, a month talk, text, and data plan. But the data plan, didn't you say there was a... Uh... It's a little throttled. <laughs> so what's the what's the deal on that? Uh, it's, like I said, throttled to 2.3 gigs. A month. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I get... Mm. AT&T gives you two. Yeah. And well, you don't even get that anymore, hardly, because uh, I the Nokia phone that I got, the uh, Lumia 900, mm -hmm. of course, I got the 300 megabytes, so it's like 10 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. So. Yeah. I, I think data is getting worse. I really think it is. 
it's just a, it's a scam. <laughs> it's like paying for text messages. It, it's all it's a scam. Which, by the way, if you're still paying for text messages, stop it. Look up Safe uh, Sidecar. Look up Viber. You cricket people now. I message. You got it. Free text. You don't even need that. Yeah. So definitely. I don't know if that may be the only plan cricket has. I've never. <laughs> I'm glad to say I never had one. Well, not to sound elitist. You know, I'm not that elite, but I'm glad to say I've never. <laughs> Look at my cricket phone. <laughs> Moving away from all things Apple, we do want to tell you about an event that's coming up just around the corner at the Las Vegas Convention or Los Angeles Convention Center. I'm sorry. Uh, E3, the uh, I forget what the three E's are, Electronic Engineer something or other. I can't remember them all, but it's the big electronic show. It's basically the summer version of CES. Yes. All the big electronic guys are going to be there. Your TV makers, your cell phone makers, your tablet makers, computer makers, video game makers, basically anything that plugs in. Speaking of which, look for LG. They've developed like a super high def. Have you seen this? Yeah, the super 1080p little five inch guy that was just like amazing. Yeah, that is... it shows like a, a scene from uh, a skyline of New York City where you can pretty much see in the window of... and kills the iPhone 4s and the Retina display. Yeah, yes, that thing looked amazing. Plus, LG they have a huge uh, 55 inch LED. Uh, ammo, I, I don't remember it's all, all of them. Yeah, it's all of them basically. <laughs> And it's thin, and it's light, and it's huge, and it's like seven grand. <laughs> so I'll never have one unless they bring it to a rent -a store, and then I can rent one to own one. In my... That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you check out the E3 website. I think it's E3 Expo, E, the number three, expo.com, and go check it out. You'll see all your big major people, Microsoft, Google, uh, Blackberry, I'm sure, even though they're dying on their last leg for some reason, they're going to be there. Yeah, Rim is going to be for sale soon. <laughs> you heard it here first. One last thing that we want to talk about before we get out of here. We actually just saw this before we got started. Um, the new Kickstarter project, because we're huge fans of Kickstarter and seeing things and different ideas and things like that. Uh, the newest one is the Simple.TV. And the thing that behind this is, the guy who's behind it, uh, Philip Falcone or John Falcone, I can't remember, but he just got out of the light squared thing mm -hmm. where it just crashed and failed completely, <laughs> and now he's into this simple TV thing. He's not the creator of it. There's, yeah. a, there's a company for that. So I think he's got some cushion. I just think he's the money behind he's it. He's the base. Yeah, so I, I think that the guy behind light squared, because light squared failed, he's now taking that money, whatever money he can, try to remake and put it in a simple TV. Basically, it's... A device much like a Roku box, much like anything else, as far as your set-top boxes, that's really small. It's designed very well. You plug it in, and you're able to control it from your Android device, your iOS device, because that's pretty much all there is anymore. BlackBerry <laughs> doesn't exist, and Windows Phone just hasn't made it to every party yet, so we're getting there. But your two major devices, and you're able to watch it on all these devices. You can watch live TV up to five people within the same household around the world. I could be That's in great. New York, you could be in Los Angeles, your wife could be in Florida. Uh, so, my, so maybe you can just get one and share it with everybody. Yeah. Like okay. they pay you 10 bucks a month or something <laughs> like that. You know, you could get one put on your TV and you know, you're going to Peru, I'm going to Seattle. Exactly. You know, we still <laughs> we all share TV. the same cable, yeah. exactly. So it's, check it out, it's $149 to get in and it's a $5 a month thing, a monthly charge. Because they have to charge something because they can't just give you, you know, the TV over the internet for free. Yeah. So it's a service charge, much like uh, anything else for a monthly charge. So check it out, Kickstarter.com, and look up Simple. I think it's Simple TV, and I think even the website is Simple TV. Yep. So just like TextNation TV. So make sure you follow us online. And since he already said the first one, I'll send in. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com/TextNationTV. Friend us, Facebook.com slash TV. For those of you on Google+, Plus, you can do Google G plus dot T-O slash TV. For you, pen or pen, 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 or... Exactly. Exactly. Pinterest.com slash TV. And as we would love for you to watch on every device that you have, because this website is available on pretty much every We're device that you have. We're on air everywhere. Take us with it. <laughs> YouTube.com slash TV. You can find us on your Xbox, your iPad, your iPhone, your iOS, Android, whatever it is device that plays YouTube. Even you black Crackberry people, it plays on there as well. And your new Cricket phone. 
<laughs> we'll see you again for episode 43, guys. Thanks for watching.